welcome back to the Actuary Mag channel. I'm Steve the Actuary. After a little tiny break, I kind of front loaded all my videos. I'm ready to rock, ready to roll. All right, guys, today we're talking about Yarok the Desecrated. But before we get into that, we're talking about 30 commanders for our 30 day 30 commander challenge. So tomorrow we'll have another one. All right, guys, and dolls, and ladies, and gentlemen, let's get into it. Yarok the Desecrated, dude, he is freaking cool. Like all the ETB triggers you could ever want on this thing okay so he's a, a black a green and a blue and two generic three five elemental horror he's got death touch and lifelink all right if a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger that ability triggers an additional time so enter the battlefield abilities are sweet with this guy so let's get into it and <clears throat> number seven on our list almost an honorable mention we have uh, all of our entering the battlefield, let's get some mana thing going on. So first off, we have Cooling Oracle. It's a blue and a green and 1-1. One, one. It says, when it enters the battlefield, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put that card in your hand. So it's basically draw a card, but you have to reveal it. Or to put the land directly into play. Super, super good. Things that really, really go good with this are like things like Ghostly Flicker. That'll give you a chance to reset Coiling Oracle. Risen Reef basically does the same thing, except for it will also trigger whenever Yara comes into play. So Risen Reef or another ent elemental enters the battlefield under your control. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield tapped. If you don't, put that card in your hand. Okay, so he's an elemental. Risen Reef triggers on elementals. It's super good. Uh, then we also have Wood Elves here. Check it out. So I'm really a fan of this. So if you have Yarrick out and you play Wood Elves late game, Wood Elves is going to go enter the battlefield, look for a forest card, put it on the battlefield. Okay. Now that means you're going to go for, with Yarrick and play. You're going to get two lands. So you're going to get your Zagoth Triumph and Overgrown Tomb or your Breeding Pool and put them directly into play. This is fantastic. Being able to manifest so perfectly is just amazing. It's pure gasoline. All right, number six on our list. Let's get rid of the, our opponent stuff, shall we? Acidic Slime. It is a five drop, two, two, death touch. Man, that's not good stats, but when it enters battlefield, destroy target artifact, uh, enchantment, or land. Fantastic. Shooting two enchantments or two, an artifact and enchantment with two acidic slime triggers is perfect. And we can, we can switch up what we're targeting whenever the second trigger happens. So good. Similarly, Reclamation Sage just gets uh, enchantments and artifacts, but it's a three drop. You can't complain about that. It's so good. Number five on our list, this guy is great. Volo Guide to Monsters in blue-green colors. This guy just does good things. He's a green, a blue, and two generic 3-2 human wizard. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. So what's interesting to note is this is a cast trigger. So Volo is going to trigger on the casting of a, a creature from your hand, right? It's not going to be an interest of battlefield trigger itself. But what it's going to do is now if I cast Acidic Slime, I've got an ooze on the stack, but I don't have an ooze anywhere else. That means now I'm going to get two Acidic Slimes entering the battlefield. Those two Acidic Slimes entering the battlefield means that Yark is going to see both of those entering the battlefield and shoot four lands, artifacts, and or enchantments. Just going, Hurrah! <laughs> so good. <laughs> but Volo is really good. He pairs very well with Yark, but he doesn't do exactly the same thing. But you're getting out of Volo, you're getting two bodies, which is so good. All right, number four on our list. This is Tatiova Benthic Druid. Wow, she's value. She's a green, a blue, and three generic. She's a 3-3 Merfolk Druid. It says whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may gain a life and draw a card. Imagine playing a land, drawing two cards, gaining two life, and now you're just so far ahead. It's unbelievable. Additionally, let's get into our toolbox, shall we? The best way to have a toolbox is with Birthing Pod. It's a green and three generic. It's a green Phyrexian, so you can just pay two life for it. So a uh, generic and a green Phyrexian, again, two life or green. It says tap, sack a creature. You search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrifice creature's converted mana cost. 
Put that card on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Activate this ability anytime you could cast a sor sorcery. So whenever you put Birthing Pot into your deck, if you just have a creature in every converted mana cost slot, make sure you have one at one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all the way up if you want to. That does something whenever they enter the battlefield, and you're going to really, really love Birthing Pot. At the one drop, you can also use something that when it enters the battlefield, it does something when it dies. A good one that comes to mind is Stitcher's Supplier is a really, really good card with Birthing Pod. Because at one mana, it's going to go and get you something like a Scavenging Ooze or something else that you can go and kind of ramp into. But you're searching for those toolbox pieces. It is so unbelievably good. Next up, number two on our list. This pair is super well with Birthing Pod. That is Muldrotha the Gravetide. Now, I noticed that Muldrotha is in the 99 of Yarok, and Yarok is in the 99 of Muldrotha. They both just like play so well with each other. No reason not to have both of these guys. He's a green, blue, black, and three generic elemental avatar, 6-6. Six, six. During each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. So that means enchantment, artifact, land, creature. You get one of each every turn that you can play from your graveyard. The value on this creature is ridiculous. There's great reasons to run him instead of Yarg, but they're both incredibly powerful. They're both doing some disgusting things. And number one on our list, no surprises here, Endraiser Forerunners and Crater Hoof Behemoth. Endraiser Forerunners is the baby brother to Crater Hoof Behemoth, but it's a 7-7 seven, seven for 8 that says trample vigilance and haste when it enters the battlefield creatures you control get plus two two and gain vigilance and trample until end of turn all your creatures whenever the arc is in play are gonna get plus four four vigilance and trample and that's fantastic but creator hoof behemoth goes a step further and says gets plus x x where x is the number of creatures you control and they gain trample what when he enters the battlefield. So if you have five creatures, all your creatures with Yara can play, all your creatures are going to get it plus 10-10. You're just going to murder people in their sleep on Christmas. It's so unbelievably power, powerful. Now, okay, we talked about the most powerful things you do. Let's talk about our infinite combo of the day, shall we? That is Paragon Drake and Deadeye Navigator. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with this combo, it's very, very common in Commander. So we'd be remiss to not bring it up in our videos. So Peregrine Drake is a one blue, four generic, two, three flying Drake. It says whenever it enters the battlefield, untap five lands. Sweet, so we play it and we get all our mana backs and we get the two, three out of the deal. But wait, there's more. Deadeye Navigator is a six drop, five, five spirit with soul bond. You may pair this creature with another unpaired creature when either enters the battlefield, you rem they remain paired for as long as you control them both. Cool. Okay, so enters the battlefield, you get a pair. Leaves the battlefield, you can pair with something new. Okay. As long as Deadeye Navigator is paired with another creature, each of those creatures has one blue, one generic, exile this creature, then return to the battlefield under your control. So you're going to pair <laughs> Deadeye Navigator with Paragon Drake. They're going to soul bond. Okay. Paragon Drake, you are going to pay the two mana to flicker it out of the play. And then you're going to tap all the, the, the other three, the, the top, total of five lands. You're going to tap five lands, get all that mana floating. You're going to pay two of it to flicker Paragon Drake. Paragon Drake's going to come back into play. You're going to get to untap those five lands where you have three mana floating. You pay, so you, now you have untapped those five, you get another uh, five, you have a total of eight floating, you pay another two, to go flicker him again. Now you've got six mana floating. He comes back into play. You repeat the process and you get infinite mana and infinite enter the battlefield triggers. Now, as an additional bonus to that, if you happen to have Yorick in play, now you get to untap 10 lands every time Paragon Drake comes into play. Not that you need more infinite mana than infinite, but with Yorick and Paragon Drake alone, you're already doing some disgusting things. You tap all your lands, play a Paragon Drake with Yara can play. You get another 10, uh, uh, 10 lands untapped. You tap those again. So you can get 15 lands out of 10. It's or 15 mana out of 10. It's fantastic. Anyway, guys and dolls, thank you so much for coming out. Please like, share, and subscribe. And come back tomorrow. I have more videos coming. Oh my goodness, there's so many videos that I've been putting out. <laughs> thank you guys for showing up. I love you. Have a good day. Where's my button?